Hey guys, Heidi Easley here, Texas Art and Soul, and I am excited to talk about painted prayers and also just about how words have power. And I'm going to be doing like part of this painted prayer in front of you. So if you have questions about painted prayers, please put in the comments and I would love to answer them. So if you want to learn a little bit about painted prayers, hang out with me for a little bit. So what we're going to do is I am talking about maybe it's okay to be not okay. All right. So, um, there's a song by the messengers and it's one of my favorite songs. And the reason I like it so much is because there, we all have times in our life when we are going through something hard and we're going through something challenging and what I'm doing now, guys, is I'm just taking some traditions, deco art traditions. This color is one of my favorite, aquamarine. I love this color so much. Um, so what I'm doing is just taking some of that color and spreading it around the painting. So painted prayers is something I came up with a few years back, and really... It was just because I was going through a hard time. And those of y'all that are coming on, if you'll just tell me where you're from, I would love to know where you're from and if you already teach paint parties. Um, or if you're a painter or a crafter or you're just starting to teach paint parties, all of those things. Just let me know in the comments. I would love to, to hear about that. So, um, so painted prayers came, you know, because I was just really, I was reading actually this right here, this Gabby Bernstein, she had um, a magazine, and this is one of my favorites as well. Let me show you. It is flat metallic. Let me tell you the color. I always like to tell you all the colors I'm using. Um, it's a pewter, pewter color. Um, so anyway, so I just fell in love with her quote and thought, oh my gosh, I have got to have that written like somewhere. So I decided to paint it. Um, has anybody ever done a painted prayer? If you have, just let me know in the comments. I would love to see if you have. Just put yes or no. And then also, for those of you that are sharing, um, I like to pick somebody to do happy mail, so I just want to say thank you in advance. And um, just let me know if you shared, and I will pick one of you for happy mail. So, um, so several years ago, and I'm doing a five-day challenge right now. It's the painted prayer five-day challenge. Um, and if you want to find out more about it, just click in the description. But basically what I'm doing is just taking a bunch of colors. Now, this piece is representing a time whenever my dad went through a heart transplant. So it's really rare to find people who've gone through a heart transplant. Um, several years ago, and you know, it's been two, just now hit two years. So we are so happy since he had the transplant and we're so grateful to the donor and their family, um, it saved my dad's life. You know, right before then, you know, it, it took him 22 months, he was on the waiting list, and um, he almost died right before then. They had to give him a VAD, and it was just a crazy, awful, emotional experience. And soon after, I think, you know, just being so emotionally tied up into that, and I was, you know, doing a lot of things myself, and trying to stay busy and, you know, not think about, you know, losing my dad and is he going to get a heart transplant, all of those crazy things that um, I ended up losing my vision in one eye. Um, it was craziness. And um, many tests later, they found I had a hole in my heart. And um, this is why this necklace is so meaningful to me. I've had it forever, but it just represents, you know, my dad's new heart. And then they had phone call coming in and they put a device in my heart and um and so now it's all fixed but they thought I had a stroke and just all the kind of crazy things that can happen and so when I listen to this song by the messengers called maybe it's okay to be not okay if you've never heard it I strongly recommend it and um, it's just one of those songs where like you know sometimes we just need to like okay to not be okay you know and words are powerful and I'm a very 
I don't know if you know this about me, but I'm a very positive person and I um, feel like, you know, we always have a choice, you know, no matter what is going on in our life. And if anybody, you know, if you can relate to any of this, if you'll do a like or like this or um, do a heart, but you know, we, I feel like we always have a choice, you know, on, on what we're going to do, you know, with the things that are given to us. I mean, we have, um, everybody's going to go through something at some time. It's not, it's never a matter of, of, um, if it's always a matter of when that's going to happen. And I think it just takes us being, you know, stronger, having more mental, um, what's the word? You know, I think, um, what's his name? Tony Robbins calls it mental fitness, right? Well, I did not have enough mental fitness when my dad was going through almost dying and him having um, a heart transplant. I just, I did not have it at that time. I was a wreck and um, emotionally just so tied to that and could not um, manage my emotions. So much so that it caused me to lose my vision and just all kinds of stress and things like that. And I think sometimes we put too much on ourselves and we feel like we should all be able to just handle it and it's not that big of a deal. Um, but it can seriously, seriously take a toll on you. So I think covering our, our words, our house with all of these encouraging words and, um, you know, relax, it's going to be great by Gabby Bernstein. You know, making sure you're, in, you know, covering yourself with these words and prayers and um, that's what I want for you. So if you have never done a painted prayer before, let me know in the comments. I would love to know if you have done one or if you have not done one. So I just have kind of a background going here with some metallics. And because this one is called, it's okay to be not okay. And um, maybe it's okay to be not okay. I'm gonna do a brick wall stencil and um, before I put my words on there. So, you can choose any stencil. I always have some kind of stencil happening behind the scenes. And for those of y'all that shared, thank you so much. I really appreciate it. And just let me know in the comments. I know some of y'all are doing paint parties. If you don't know who I am, um, I am the founder and owner of Texas Art and Soul, and I teach women all over the world how to make money teaching paint parties. So um, today I'm just talking about painted prayers and the five-day painted prayer um, challenge okay so it is open you get instant access to it right now and um, it's only ten dollars and I walk you through um, a Bible study choosing your words exact step-by-step -step on how to do your very own painted prayer so you can just repeat the process and cover your house with these words now I know sometimes we think you know we're trying to tell our kids we're trying to tell and um, you know we're trying to make this stuff stick you know this is a, um, a burnt orange traditions. Um, I know sometimes we think like we're saying this stuff, but our kids just aren't getting it. Guys, I want y'all to know that they are hearing it. And, um, you know, I'm always trying to say like when Pixie says, I can't do something or this isn't going to work. I'm always trying to tell her, you know, yes, it can work. Um, and for those of y'all watching me, I'm doing the burnt orange, and then I'm also going to be using the um, the charcoal color. So a mix of both of these. And um, oh, she says, "What a lovely attitude!" I've been there too. Peace, prayers, and blessings. Yeah. Oh my gosh, if you've ever been, you know, through a family member having a heart transplant or um, your own type of crazy health issues i mean it's just it's insane i feel like you know if you don't have your health you don't have anything um i think that's why i'm always like and just really um i need to be better about doing that is there anybody else that needs to be better about <laughs> drinking the right stuff eating the right foods um it's a you know it's definitely a challenge but um but i think it's important you know we think that we're not, our kids aren't hearing us, or we think that um, they're not, you know, paying attention. But I've had instances where I thought Pixie wasn't listening, and then she would be saying something to another person. So, for example, one of, they were doing this um, project for school, and the project was, um, you know, it was due, it was about to be due, and they literally had, um, 
a couple of days left. I mean, I was so frustrated. I was like, they are going to fail this. I mean, natural consequences. Like, if you don't do your work, you're going to fail. And she ended up, um, one of the boys in her group kept going, we're just going to fail. But, you know, you just started going crazy. And Pixie was like, stop saying that she was in the backseat. Stop saying that. Words have power. If you keep saying that, it's not going to, you know, we're not going to be able to do this. And I was like, oh. It's working. She's hearing this. So I know sometimes we think our, our little ones um, are not listening, um, but they are. So just make sure you keep at it. And I think too, um, tell me if any of y'all have painted prayers yet. Have any of you done a painted prayer? Just put yes or no in the comments. Um, the reason why I want to know is because you know, a lot of times you're living in a house where maybe you're renting. For many years we rented um, and we couldn't, you know, paint all over the walls. And now that I have my own house, of course, you can see behind me. I mean, I paint everywhere and anywhere. Um, my husband isn't looking. <laughs> no, he's pretty supportive. He lets me paint the floors, the walls, the ceilings, whatever. And, um, and we just, you know, can put these words like over here on my art studio. It says create really big and under it <clears throat> says be here right now so what i like about those words it's not a bible verse it's not a quote it's just telling me when i'm in this art studio <clears throat> excuse me i don't know why my i got a frog in my voice um it's telling me when i'm in this art studio like what i'm creating none of that can be taken away like this moment of creating so those of you out there that create you craft you make whatever sometimes you might think like oh i'm wasting time or you know this isn't selling or you know i did this but it turned out wrong like the process of creating the moments of you creating can never be taken away and when i do this kind of painting especially the painted prayers you know, there's no wrong or right way to do it. And the people who have been taking this challenge have been making not one, not two, but several painted prayers. And I've been getting messages of pictures and so many things because that's the deal. Once you learn the process and once you realize like I can do this and I can put it up in front of my toilet and every time I go to the bathroom, I'm getting encouragement or, you know, I'm playing the lyrics of a song. So now that song is stuck in my head. You know, there's a song that um, I am blessed, I am healed, I am whole. Um, I can't remember the exact lyrics, but I am. Go I have a painted prayer that I made of that. And every time I look at it, immediately my brain starts to, I am blessed, I am healed, I am whole in the power, you know, in the power of Jesus name. And to have that and know that, you know, everywhere we look in our house, we have these inspirational words, these words of encouragement. And we're not only creating an environment for us to be able to be mentally stable or mentally fit, but we're creating an environment for our kids, for our husband. You know, it has to eventually rub off. Um, I don't know if y'all have seen the show, The Middle. Does anybody watch The Middle? Um, Oh my gosh, there was a, a time when my cat ended up staying in his daughter's room, Sue. And if you know the show, she has inspirational cat posters like hang on and, and all of these things in her room. And um, and he stayed in there for about a week. And whenever he, he, he was a man of few words in this series. And whenever he came out um, to talk to his wife or whatever, she would have a problem. And instead of him just, you know, drinking his beer like he would do and, and just kind of nod, he would be like, hang in there or, you know, say something inspiring. And then after a few times, she's like, what is wrong with you? And then it came back to realizing, you know, just those words, having those words on the wall seeped into his brain and he started talking about it more often. So um, I think just really lining our, our house with prayers, words, encouragement, and all of that, you know, is, is not time wasted. Um, definitely not time wasted. So if you have not taken the painted prayer challenge, it's only $10 and um, you start right now. So like as soon as you sign up, the link is in the description. As soon as you sign up, you're gonna get the first 
email that's going to have the first directions, which is a Bible study first, and we talk about how to choose your words. Um, and guys, in today's world of craziness and comparison online and all of the, the things that we do, you know, I mean, I know you can probably see a little bit of my junk, but if you look that way, I mean, if you were on the other side of the studio, um, it looks like we are having, uh, let me see if I can describe it. Between Pixie's table, my table, and all of the stuff for paint parties and paint and events, it looks like we are half, I'm, it looks like a garage sale in here, maybe. That's, I guess that's the best word to describe it. But that's the thing, guys. You know, we compare ourselves thinking, oh, everybody's got it together. No, everybody's going through their own stuff. But what you do have is you can make sure that you're managing your mind. That is so important, guys. So if you agree with managing your mind, the power of words, if you'll just put yes, or maybe put in the comments what your favorite quote is or your favorite song lyric. Um, because I have a book of so many. And in the Painted Prayers, I give you suggestions of ones that I really like that resonate with me. But you're welcome to use them as well. So the entire Painted Prayers is five days long. So at the end of the five days, you are going to have a finished Painted Prayer. You don't have to be an artist to do this. Um, you can just be a person who wants to put some encouraging words. You don't even have to have a vinyl cutter. All right, you don't have to have a vinyl cutter. Um, I teach you a way to do the words without having like a fancy vinyl cutter. And you don't even have to have um, like what you want to put on there first. I'm gonna walk you through all of that. So if you wanna try it out, it's a five day challenge. Literally, you know, every day I send it to you, immediately you'll get the first one, and then you'll get the um, second one, third, fourth, and fifth. I think I have them scheduled to go out at 8 a.m., and it's not very time-consuming. It's pretty short videos, but it'll walk you through the process, and then um, we have a couple of little Bible studies in there, too. So I am so excited to see what y'all create. So please, guys, check it out. And then I'm going to pull up this stencil and see how that turquoise, I'm going to see if that turquoise really makes a difference. This one is, maybe it's not okay. Maybe it's okay to be not okay. So let me see. I'm kind of doing a brick area. Let's see if it works. Y'all want to see? Y'all ready? Okay, let's see if it worked. The big reveal. Ta-da! Yay! Okay, awesome. What do y'all think so far? Every time I do a painted prayer, I like to try to mix it up because I want a different feeling with every one. So this one's going to have a different feeling of maybe it's not okay. Maybe it's okay to be not okay. And so this one's gonna have a different feeling and I'm gonna add a bunch of more details to it. And of course the words are gonna go on top of it. So let me know what y'all think. And um, if you want to join the challenge, click in the link in the description. I would love so much to get to know you better and um, walk you through a couple Bible studies in addition to doing your own painted prayer. And um, yeah, it would be so much fun. All right guys, I hope you're having a great day and I will see you on the next one. Bye.